Seb Costello, National 9 News here. Okay, well here I am with Kate Arnold and Meredy Costello. Kate, the uh, boyfriend of a humble teacher and Meredy, the mother of a not so humble, of a not so humble charity worker. <laughs> All right, I'm here with uh, the co-founder of YGAP, Alby Tomasi. Alby, tell us about the birthday cake. What birthday cake? <laughs> it was uh, 38 degrees and sunny. Uh, I had a bottle of Bollinger, and I think I finished that before I sprayed the second bottle that I had in there. You don't have the grey hair like the other co-founder. No. You've held up really well. Yeah, I think um, it's, he's just painted on. He, he, he pretends he's more stressed than he actually is. Very good. Have a great night. Thank you, Albie. Clint, how are you feeling about the night? I feel actually very good about this evening. Uh, more importantly, I feel very good about the fact I've been able to see you grow up and evolve. <laughs> You've grown, grown up so much over the past few years. It's great to see you again. <laughs> From 2008, that's uh, fantastic. Here I am with the Reverend Tim Costello, CEO of World Vision. Um, look, I think it's great that uh, Elliot and volunteers are being uh, able to actually cast a vision, get support, and um, they may even turn some young, wasted lives like yours around. Ouch! Snap! Oh, there it is. Now you've got your husband and your son, Elliot, uh, over here, but they're not. Elliot and son uh, in the charity sector. They say charity begins at home. Do they do anything at home? Do they ever help out? Uh, oh dear, that's asking. Um, really? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I tried my best. <laughs> Now, uh, Kylie's done an amazing job with YGAP for so many years. Now, she controlled our data list for a long time. Tell uh, the audience, how many boyfriends have you got out of YGAP? Nine. Nine. Maybe a few. Maybe a few. That's fair enough. Both you and Elliot, father and son, CEO of charity organisations. I said to Elliot before that he looks like he's aged a lot. I can probably say that for the father as well. Well, I, I kicked Elliot out of home when he started a rival to World Vision. Uh, how, how outrageous. Now, a lot of people are angry at you that they, you wet their dresses and put champagne over it. Will you refund them for the dresses? Yeah, the refunds are in process. I'll refund them in drachma. Thank you, Clint. Great having you here. You're a clown. A lot of media tarts at uh, YGAP. We seem to be able to, we like a camera here. Tell us, how are we able to get any more media throughout the year? Throughout the year? Well, look, we've got a really great CEO who's actually a bit of a media tart himself, so we love rolling out the red carpet for him. Well, here I am with Brits from Gold 104, who is also the MC for tonight. Uh, Brits, tell us about the night, what you're doing, and a bit about YGAP, your connection. Well, I'm thrilled to be here. Lemo and I are hosting dinner. Like he's going to be late, so I'm going to start things off. You know how it is. They say girls take ages to get ready. Um, I love I love YGAP. I got involved a couple of years ago. Uh, met Elliot and all the beautiful YGAP people. Went to Africa, Rwanda. And um, I just, I love what they do. And I think they're, you too, by the way, Marty. Fine young people is what I think. Fine young people. I want to marry them off to my daughter. She's a bit young though. Uh, with Elliot, I do say he does some fantastic work, but do you find it surprising by the age of 25 he'd started going grey? Is there too much stress? Yeah, I know, that is interesting. It's a weird one, isn't it? Would you rather go bald or grey at 25? And I'm wondering if he should just perhaps shave the lot off. Seriously. Have the double whammy. To go the double whammy. Or what's the, uh, the for men stuff that colours your hair? He needs a bit of that gear to dye the hair. Or perhaps put some streaks in it or something. Because the great, he looks about 85. He looks older than your dad. Uh, <laughs> <but yeah. laughs> 
but good on him. Maybe he's got Benjamin Button syndrome and he'll just get younger and younger as the years go by. Well, I don't think so. I think in the last year he's gone from 29 to 40 pretty quickly, so it's a tough track for him. Uh, Sally, we're looking forward to seeing you on the dance floor. And Ross, tell us about how long did it take to do your hair tonight? Oh, well, I've been working on it all afternoon, Matt. Yeah. A, a, bit of, a bit of gel and uh, took me a little longer to do my tie up than I did my hair. Put it well, they're both looking very sharp and it's fantastic to have Sally and Lost Dick here. Thank you guys, enjoy the night. Uh, now you're sweating it up already. And, uh, <laughs> maybe the cameras have got you sweating. It seems it's going to be a big night. What's still to come? Uh, what's still to come? We're going to see Marty do a bit of an electric boogaloo on the dance floor. We're going to dance together, mate. Um, we've got an after party uh, at midnight, but probably the most important thing is actually seeing all of our volunteers party like it's 1999. Have a look at that tonight. Have a look. It's going to go off. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the dance floor. Have a look. There's no one on the dance oh, no. floor. <laughs> I just noticed. You know why? They're at the silent auction. It finishes in 10 minutes. Now, Elliot is the CEO. He is the first paid employee for YGAP. Um, he's been under a lot of stress this year. I don't know if the cameras can get it. YGAP community has been pretty uh, uh, asking a lot of questions. He's gone quite grey in the last year. Would you like to quickly tell us about that? The grey started when I was a kid with you, Marty. These, uh, these have been around for years, since um, a long time ago. That's my hair. And uh, Kate Arnold, uh, I want to know what are you most looking forward to tonight? And can you tell the audience, are you going to go into modelling? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what an idiot! No, um, looking forward to tonight. Never been to a wide ball before, but really looking forward to tonight. Should be good. You're looking stunning. I'm sure you're going to have a good night. Just wondering whether you put much effort into the hair tonight, mate. It's looking a bit uh, dodgy, but it's all right. My cousin rushed me getting here, but um, uh, it was an amazing speech. You got people to pull out their credit card, but you did stumble on a lot of words. Um, do you need a speech for th uh, th I think you do. Therapist. Uh, uh, I don't need a speech therapist. There might be another therapist by the end of the tonight, but um, I'd like you to explain which words I stumbled on. There was a few. The cameramen are nodding in the back. They, 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 if, it, uh, if it was only a few words, I'm happy because at least we got the response we needed. Well, we've come to the end of the party. The Y Gap, Y Generation Against Poverty Party has finished for the night and what a ball it has been.